One new Britain woman is so full of the Christmas spirit, she uses her own house to raise food for the less fortunate, but this year a Grinch attacked. As News Ace Bob Wilson reports, the show is going on anyway, Scrooge or not. It is a field of figurines from Santa Claus and the Grinch to polar bears, even Mickey Mouse out there with the three wise men and Jesus. However, some of them have taken a direct hit. Vandals have wrecked this one right here, this one over here, another one over here, smashing and bashing the heads off some of the ornaments. But the lady here has been doing this for many years, says the show will go on. Which one's your favorite? Santa Claus. For 37 years, Rita Ginicola has lit her yard for the children in the neighborhood. But this year, vandals tore through, smashing her Santa Claus collection. They came one night, and uh, uh, some, someone must have called the cops, and uh, they probably seen them uh, uh, smashing my Santa Clauses. Rita started collecting and decorating her house back in the 1950s. It was family only. But the neighbors kept sneaking up and peeking in her window, so in 1978, she opened her house to the public if you brought food for the local food bank. The food, uh, we donate to a few donation centers. Uh, they go to the Prudence Crandall Center, they go to St. Mark's Church, and to the Salvation Army. This year, Rita taped up her Santas, and word of the vandalism spread as newspapers and television stations covered the story. This year, they're breaking all records and have raised thousands of dollars in food donations. You're turning something bad into yeah. good. Oh, yes, definitely, yeah. Yeah, and this is why I get so many people. I got, I had one night I had a thousand people, another night I had nine. Now she says she's going to keep these ornaments displayed in the wrecked condition that they're in. That's because it shows they were vandalized, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of Christmas wins, and people are still coming to see the decorations. We're in New Britain. Bob Wilson, News 8.